When you go to buy a new appliance or a TV or computer, you know that the sales assistant will try and get you to take out extended warranty. And that's just insurance that if something happens in the first three or four years that you'll be covered for that. Um, we're going to look at the Cooker Extended Warranty uh, spreadsheet and from that we're going to calculate the cost of the extended warranty based on the probability of a major or minor breakdown. From the table you can see that the cost of the cooker is £500 but the cost of the extended warranty is £24 per year over a term of three years. And so the first thing we want to do is to calculate the total cost of the extended warranty over the three year term. And we can do that using the formula feature within the spreadsheet. Now formula in a spreadsheet is a function which allows you to calculate values within particular cells. So first thing we need to do is decide where we want to put our formula and we're going to put it into this cell here that I've highlighted. And to let the spreadsheet know that we're about to enter a formula, we select the cell and then we use the equals key and that lets the spreadsheet know that we're going to enter a formula into this cell. So we want to multiply the 24, which is in cell B6, by 3. Um, now the multiply uh, feature within the spreadsheet is the star key. So just putting the star in and then clicking on the cell that the number 3 is in and then just hit the enter key or return key. So we can see that the total cost of the extended warranty over the three year term is £72. And if I just scroll down, the cost then of taking out the warranty would be £72. And we'll just enter that there. The cost of a minor breakdown is £100 and the likelihood of a minor breakdown is 0.1. So that tells us how likely it is that the machine will have a breakdown, a minor breakdown in one year. By multiplying the cost of the major minor breakdown by its likelihood, we get the expected cost based on probability for one year. So this would be 100 times 0.1. And again, we can use the spreadsheet to actually calculate that. So selecting the cell where we want to put our formula, then using the equals key to let the spreadsheet know that a formula is being entered and we're clicking on the cell. Remember, star is the multiply sign and the cell that we want to multiply by hit return and we get 10 pounds. So that's the expected cost based on probability for one year but we need to work out the expected cost based on probability for the three years for a minor breakdown. So we're simply going to need to multiply 10 by three. Now I know you can do that in your head, but again, just using the formula feature, again, equals the cell that you want to multiply, in this case, um, by three and hitting enter and we get 30 pounds. So the expected cost based on probability for the three years would be £30. Okay, scrolling on down in the spreadsheet, we can see that the cost of a major breakdown, typical cost, would be £400. And the likelihood of a major breakdown in one year is 0.01. Now, if you compare that to the likelihood of a minor breakdown, you can see it's much more likely. In fact, it's 10 times more likely that there would be a minor breakdown than that there would be a major breakdown. So what we want to do is to calculate the expected cost based on the probability of a major breakdown. Again, we're going to use the formula feature. So if you use the equals, C, equals key to let the spreadsheet know that we're going to enter a formula. And what we want to do is to multiply the cost of the major breakdown by its likelihood. So we're multiplying 400, again, star is the multiply key, by 0.01. And just hit return or enter. And so the cost of um, the expected cost based on the probability is four pounds. Now we want to calculate the expected cost based on the probability for three years. So again, we're multiplying four by three, which we know would give 12 pounds, but we want to just use the formula feature again, just to confirm that. And we get 12 pounds. So we've calculated 
the expected cost based on the probability for a minor breakdown over three years and for the major breakdown over three years. And so now what we want to do is the cost, the total cost. Um, so if we add those two together, so the third, we've got the thirty pounds and the twelve pounds, and when we add those two together, you get thirty plus twelve, which is forty-two pounds. So the expected cost then of not taking out the extended warranty for the machine would be forty-two pounds. Now this may not this may mean that you would choose not to take out the warranty because the expected cost based on the likelihood of the breakdown is less. But it is really important to note that you should be should you be unfortunate enough to have to have a major repair of your machine, then you have to be able to find the four hundred pounds that the major repair would cost. And so again it's just about managing the likelihood and making a decision and judgment based around that uh, and what you can afford. Your challenge is to calculate whether it's worth taking out the extended warranty for the washing machine.